Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in Garfield, Texas here on this lovely Tuesday morning, April 24th, 2018. And I really do need to be getting out in this garden and attacking the Amazon jungle that has grown up in the past week or while I have been at the Old Settlers Music Festival. But before I do that, I just want to do my uh, my, my bittersweet uh, recurring rant um, welcoming the newest 100 tribes members to Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I just now, I, you know, I've, I've been offline for almost a week and just lost track of it. I guess I'm actually up to like 5,215 new subscribers. So I want to uh, thank the newest 100 Humpty Dumpty Tribes members for joining the tribe and listening to my crazy rants. Welcome aboard. I tried to warn you not to come here, but since you did, uh, well, I guess I'll do the best I can for you, but any long-time subscriber knows uh, what it means when Hambone Littletail welcomes another hundred tribes members uh, into Humpty Dumpty Tribe, and that, of course, is when I just ask from the the bottom of my little Hambone heart, and I think I'm speaking for Sancho Panza where I simply, uh, each time I hit a 100 new tribes members, I remind folks that uh, I am a performance artist. That Hambone Little Tail is a performance artist created by this fellow named Sam Mitchell. And this is what I do with my life. Humpty Dumpty Tribe, for better or worse, is what I do with my life. I, I spend hours and hours a day on this, way too much time, uh, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe bringing you these rants. And uh, as you may or may not be aware of it, uh, I'm, I'm just getting, I'm, I'm, I'm having my moments of doubt. You know, my I think it's my eighth birthday coming up here on uh, on May 11th, and I am trying to decide what to do with Humpty Dumpty Tribe in general, and specifically this uh, this this loudmouth lunatic eco Nazi named Hambone Littletail. Whether it is time to put Hambone Littletail to rest and uh, figure out what direction uh, I want to take Humpty Dumpty Tribe. And uh, so one of the indicators that I use is how much financial support I am getting for what I do. And before I, before I get into this rant, let me, let me go through the very short the, the, the shortest, probably since I started this rant, uh, I mean, started opening my channel to donations 14 months ago, uh, I have noticed uh, over the last 100 subscribers, which took an inordinately long time to get, that I have had fewer donations to Humpty Dumpty Tribe than any other uh, period, you know, hundred subscriber period that my uh, don my donations to Humpty Dumpty Tribe have uh, pretty much cratered uh, since uh, I hit 5,100 tribes members. But a few of you, I want to uh, send out a, a a big thank you from the bottom of my handbone heart. Let's start over here on Patreon. You know, I have a Patreon account. I have one, as does Sancho Panza. There's this one problem. I notice not one human being 
on planet Earth. And, uh, now, now, I believe 59 of you are already uh, in the Patreon Humpty Dumpty tribe. And as much as I, and I greatly appreciate this, I am not talking to you. I'm talking to the 5,150 plus people who have never uh, sent me a dollar to my Patreon. I do have a Patreon account. I, I, I know this is news to most of you. But anyway, let's go from Patreon. Now, to my GoFundMe account, I want to send out a huge welcome to Sister Vivian for her very kind donation to my Hambone Gas Sucking Truck uh, GoFundMe account. Thank you very much, darling, for keeping this uh, show on the air and on the road for another day. Who else? Sister Desiree. Thank you very much for your donation. Brother Rick, thank you. Sister Gina, thank you. I noticed that I am uh, about 70% of the way. So what my GoFundMe account is, is uh, I, I'm raising gas money, uh, car mechanic money, whatever money uh, it's going to take. I figure I'm going to spend about $2,000 on vehicle uh, expenses on this, uh, on this trip I'm getting ready to take uh, this summer up there to upstate New York and uh, New England and eastern Canada. So we are what are we? I'm about five hundred dollars. I'm about three quarters. So I'm five hundred ninety dollars away from my goal. So as soon as I get five hundred, as soon as I meet my goal and have the money to the biggest expense on the trip, I can actually start planning the trip. So uh, I'm about a month out of wanting to get out of here. So anybody who, for whatever reason, uh, wants me, A, to come visit them uh, particularly, for whatever reason they would want to see me. I know they want to see Sancho Panza, or if they just want to hear about my crazy adventures, I need to scare up a little over $500 before I can start planning my trip, and I want to thank those. Now, of course, I have a PayPal account. It's very easy to drop a donation and, and to PayPal, I want to thank Brother Kenneth for his kind donation, uh, his very kind donation to my PayPal account. And we cannot forget Brother Marty Knudsen uh, for uh, his, his kind uh, contribution. Now, 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 Marty, if you're even listening to this, since you've heard this rant a hundred times, I, I, I want you to know, Brother Marty, that you have already, uh, months ago, paid your lifetime membership into uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I absolutely, you are one of the top three supporters of Humpty Dumpty Tribe in history, the other two being Archangel Michael and Brother JJ. Uh, the three of you are my, you know, are my three biggest financial supporters. And as much as I appreciate it, I do notice that uh, it is, as much as I absolutely appreciate your PayPal donation, Brother Marty, I notice that, that your donations have dropped about 75% this month and as I say dude you do not owe me one me you you I, I I I owe you brother you don't owe me one more penny it's just the fact that even when when brother Marty Knudsen one of my three biggest uh, supporters on the planet has decided uh, apparently to send his donations elsewhere it's just a little bit of a you know it's just a little bit of what I call a whisper from the universe is what I call these things. It's an omen or an affirmation, I think. An affirmation that people are just losing interest. Now, of course, uh, I, you can always just send 
if, if you don't want somebody like Patreon or GoFundMe or PayPal to take their pound of flesh when you're trying to donate to me, uh, if you send me a private email at Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com, I will send you a mailing address. And I will, and I do notice that my checks have uh, are looking pretty good. I want to thank. Let's see, who do? How many people? Four people for their kind donations for check or money order. Do not ever put money in the mail. But I want to thank Sister Lisa for your kind donation. Brother Neil J. Thank you, brother. Brother Mark D. from Seattle. It was nice meeting you last year. I like you keeping up with the tribe. And Brother Bill G. Thank you for your kind uh, donation via check or money order. And... Um, so, you know, with that being said, uh, and, and I really do, uh, from the bottom of my little ham bone heart, uh, for the, the list of names I just mentioned, for all of my recurring Patreon members and anybody who has ever found it in their hearts and wallets to, uh, to ever send uh, ham bone little tail or Sam Mitchell or whatever, um, a, a donation to keep this uh, weird little social experiment in high strangeness on the air or as the case may be with my GoFundMe account on the road for another day I greatly appreciate it and and now I you know the conversation gets to the, the part and, and I really don't enjoy doing this Guys, I, I, I really don't. There's, I think there's some rumor that, that I enjoy uh, this whine uh, about the, the 99, at least 99% of, of my subscribers who have never sent me uh, so much as one dollar for my eight years of work. Now, as I always do, I make the giant disclaimer, obviously, obviously, uh, neither Hambone Littletail nor Sam Mitchell is doing what I do on YouTube for the money. Uh, you, you know, my old buddy Guy, uh, dude, uh, you know, making these claims all the time that Hambone Littletail is, is, uh, do, does what he does for the money. Anybody thinking that, uh, that, that somebody would talk about the biggest taboo subject on the planet... Uh, which is what I talk about, that about 10 people are uh, on the planet are talking about on YouTube who believes that I am doing this for the money. Uh, obviously, you can pull your clueless moron head out of your ass. Uh, I'm just over here. I just uh, was looking into this. You know, I did a story recently about... Uh, I bought one of these Arctic coolers recently and did a video uh, and on that, I think I got about 300 views. I just noticed, this is just kind of an aside, so I, I, just, I just happened to stumble upon this uh, YouTuber, it's actually a husband and wife team called Pure Living for Life. And so this was their video of their Arctic cooler unboxing. So far, they have received 607,000 views. 607,000 views with them unboxing their new Arctic cooler. 5.4 thousand thumbs up. 1,008 comments on their video and, I, and I'm not picking on the on these guys pure living for life 
what they are. They're this very nice young couple just doing videos about their daily lives, like when they go to buy an Arctic cooler. Uh, or, or, or whatever they're doing with their lives, they drive this beautiful, probably fifty thousand uh, dollar SUV. Uh, I noticed they monetize their channel every time. Every one of these six hundred and six thousand people uh, who watch their video on them buying their Arctic cooler pretty much the same video that I made when I bought mine, every one of them had to sit through an ad. If I were getting 606,000 views on every one of my videos, uh, I would not need to do this. And then I find out that in addition to the, the uh, advert, uh, you know, running ads on their channel, they have the same that they have the same uh, ways to fund them in addition to the they in, in addition to the uh, the advertising on their channel, which I have never made there. I have never advertised, never will make you sit through one of these fucking ads. They have three hundred forty five thousand subscribers. 345,000 subscribers. I notice of the 345,000 that 402 of their 345,000 subscribers have uh, bothered to join their Patreon account, leaving the other 344,600 of their subscribers to not join. So maybe I shouldn't feel bad about my own market penetration. Uh, but, but anyway, I just had to uh, get that off my chest. I went over there to their Patreon account, and they just and, and I should have just read their comment about how they waited for years to open up a Patreon account because that, and, and these other things because they didn't want to seem like they were begging for money. But then they realized that they were providing a service to people. That obviously people uh, were coming back to their channel over and over and over again, getting whatever uh, it is after sitting through one of these goddamn ads from our overlords at Google that they just started saying, you know, we're putting a, a hell of a lot of our lives into our YouTube channel. And if people are, are getting something out of what we are, the work we are doing, we don't feel like we are begging. Beggars are people who hold out their hand and offer nothing in return. Uh... Uh, you know, and I agree with these people. Uh, if if someone is offering you a service, if a if a cocktail waitress spends thirty seconds of her life walking twenty feet to to set you down a beer or a margarita, it it, it is just expected uh, that you might offer her. Uh, since she is getting probably paid about $2.50 an hour by her employer, it is just expected that if a waitress spends 30 seconds of her life uh, offering you a service, bringing you a beer, that maybe you'll put pull out a, a couple of bucks to reward her for the service that she is providing you, the entertainment, the service, or whatever. Uh, you know, here, here I go again, and I just don't get it. Why 99% of my subscribers have never found it anywhere in their uh, hearts and wallets to uh, um, give me one penny uh, of, uh, of money for eight years uh, of work. Uh, you, you know, if you are down here in this rabbit hole, you know there are a tiny, tiny few 
uh, of us people talking about the single biggest issue in the history of humanity, and that is the collapse of this planet. That there, you can count on about two hands how many people are out there on YouTube doing what I'm doing. Uh, with, with, with my life, what I have dedicated my life to doing. And although I sure as shit am not doing what I do for the money, it would just be, it, it, you know, it's just moral support. Uh, it, it just, you, you know, when, when I get, uh, what, what was that, eight or nine people, uh, you, you know, it just, uh, it, it just makes me wonder uh, just why the fuck am I doing this? So I'm just going to ask you the question. If, if you are somebody uh, who has been listening to me now uh, for however long you've been listening to me and you've liked what I've said enough to sign, you know, to subscribe and become a tribes member and you regularly find yourself returning here and you get something out of this channel, be it entertainment, education, uh, visiting Sancho Panza, and, and you have never, with all the ways I have, uh, to do this, and, and, and if nothing else, just for saying thank you, Hambone, for not making me sit through these fucking ads. If you have never found it in, in, in your heart or your wallet to throw me one dollar, I'm, I'm simply curious to know why you haven't. Uh, now, you don't need, if you are uh, in the same financial bind that I am in your life, I am not talking to you. My, my income now outside of Humpty Dumpty Tribe, I make $650 a month from, from a rental income from my roommate pays me $650 a month. Of that, $200 goes to pay the taxes on this place. I make, my salary is now less than it has ever been. I am making $450 per month outside of Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I, I cannot even do this hard physical labor that I've been doing. I'm a 58-year-old white man with an ulcer and a fucked up back. Even if I could find anyone to hire me for $15 an hour uh, slaving out there uh, on some planet eating shit. I can't do it anymore, guys. I don't have, uh, like, like some other people down in the Doomosphere, I don't have a little, what I call a little deep pockets sugar tit supporting me financially in my work, uh, housing me and feeding me and, and flying me all around the planet. I don't have a sugar mama supporting me, uh, y y you know, uh, and so I I'm going to have to get fucking serious and get out there and, and find some goddamn job and, and, and just cut this shit out. And, and so uh, and I I'm just between now and May 11th, I I I'm really going to be paying attention uh, to, you know, the financial donations again, uh, this sounds contradictory, but it's not, uh, this is, I, I, I am not asking you to financially support me. I am, if I want to make money off of YouTube, I will talk about any subject on the fucking planet uh, than what I talk about uh, to make more money off of YouTube. I, I'm simply just using my, not, not dwindling, but, uh, but absolutely uh, cratering, uh, uh, donations to this channel as further evidence uh, that uh, it's time to shut down Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Hambone Little Tail and just figure out what I want to do next with Humpty Dumpty Tribe. And it's probably looking like 
I, I don't know. I'm literally going to, a lot depends on a lot of things between now and April 11th. I, I, I am probably going, going to create, I'm almost sure of this, that I am going to create a, a new YouTube channel uh, called something like Voices uh, from the Anthropocene. Uh, where I'm going to be interviewing and, and, and reading essays from other voices in the Doomosphere. We're going to kill Hambone Littletail and let Sam Mitchell take over the reins. So, uh, you, you will also be supporting any new channels that I uh, that I have whether here on YouTube or other channels. So it, it's it's not just Humpty Dumpty Tribe. It's anything that I'm doing on social media. Uh, you will be supporting. And one more time, anybody uh, who has ever found it in their hearts and their wallets to support this crazy thing I am doing. I love you guys, and uh, we will see where this goes from here, uh, you know how to find me if you would like to throw a few dollars into the collection plate for your old doomsday preacher uh, getting up here every day doing what I do. If you appreciate me, I would appreciate you uh, throwing in a couple of dollars just to say, dude, we appreciate what you're doing with your life. I will come back when we hit 5,300 subscribers. I really am off to tackle the Amazon jungle now. Bye, guys.